I just like to have fun. I'm 28 years old. I ain't trying to get over the hill and say, I got a bucket list in my life. I'm going to knock everything out the box now. If I hurt your feelings, my bad. It it's just too sad for you. In the marriage vows, did you say, I'm going to sleep with everybody else, or did you say, I was going to be true to her? She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. When Martina and Damerson married two years ago, Martina thought she'd wed the perfect man, but she soon found out that nothing is perfect. I'm here today because my husband of two years have cheated on me with over 30 women that I'm aware of, and I'm tired of it. I want a divorce. I don't think we need a divorce. We just need to work on communication issues that we have in a relationship. But Martina is firm in her belief that the damage has been done, so she is taking the couple's two children and walking away forever. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Martina Robinson and Damerson Hutchinson. The two of you have been married for two years, together for six. You have two children, ages three and four, and there's some from a previous relationship. Ms. Uh, Robinson, you have brought Mr. Hutchinson here seeking $117, which is this specific amount you believe you have proof that he spent on a mistress. Yes, ma'am, I do. Indeed, that is. So before we get to that, Ms. Robinson, I'm gonna ask you to tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today. Ma'am, Your Honor, I'm here today because my husband has cheated on me with over 30 women that I'm aware of, and we only been together six years. He's nothing but a liar and a cheater, and I want a divorce. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, don't you snap your fingers at your wife in front of no me. Dog. Have you lost your mind? No, I'm just putting her her play like she's no, supposed no, to. No, 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 no. I'm in charge of this entire thing. You will treat her with dignity and respect here, no matter what you two do out in the world. Do you understand that? And that's you the problem, you and, you don't interrupt, and don't interrupt my flow, either. <laughs> <laughs> he does that all the time, Your Honor. He does stuff like that all the time. He always tries to snap his finger. He thinks he's above everyone else. He, feel, he figures that he's the king and everyone else is like his peasant. Like, well, when did you first learn that he had a wandering eye? The whole time we've been together, this had been occurring before we got married. Before Anna. you even got married. Gotta ask, Ms. Robinson, what about that led you to believe that he would make a good husband? I have kids, Vine, Your Honor, and I was thinking that he would change. Marriage is supposed to change. You know, people do things that they don't usually do when they're not married because you're not obligated to each other. I want to marry him because I have kids by him is so, is so backwards. It is, oh, I want to have kids with someone that I'm married to, to because I've already made a determination that he's someone who's worthy of me. I understand you, that, you with me? And you're right, you're right, you're right about I that. I mean, and I know it's too late. The cat's right. out of the bag. You already have children. But in case anybody is paying attention to me, please, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> Let's start working this thing in the right order. Mr. Hutchinson, how are you, sir? I'm doing good today. How are you doing, Yana? Fine. What do you say to her allegations that you are a serial cheater? Well, I mean, I just like to have fun. I'm 28 years old. I ain't, I ain't trying to get over the hill and say, I got a bucket list in my life. I'm going to knock everything out the box now. If I hurt your feelings, my bad. It's it just too sad for you. You know, because I'm just going to live me and do for me. You feel I, me? And I, under, I do so understand selfish. you. And my question to you is this. That is indeed, uh, you have the right to do that. My question is, why lie to her and say, keep only unto you by marrying her? Hold what, on, I ain't, I ain't what never was told, the point of that? I, I never told a lie. I might have scratched the truth a little bit. Did you, did you, did you marry her? Lie, yeah, I married her. That, did you know. In the marriage vows, did you say, I'm going to sleep with everybody else, or did you say, I was going to be true to her? I mean, it's 2012, Yon. You got to look at it. It's a lot of open relationships out there now. Oh, my God. Did you tell her that? Oh, my gosh. No, I did didn't you, have to tell her that. Since then you lied. He only thinks about himself. I went out on a trip with my girls. We went out on a girls' night out. Your Honor, I come back, and a female writes me and lets me know that she took him to a comedy club, took him out to eat, and bought him an outfit. He hasn't even took, he <laughs> never took me to a comedy club. We've been together six years. I've never been to a comedy club, but yet, you could go take another female that you know nothing about out and buy her and spend money on her. He don't do nothing at home. He got a job, but he 
He take care of himself. He's selfish. Anything she's saying to me untrue, or you simply think, yeah, I did it, but I, I but I'm, and I'm not sorry. I mean, no, I ain't sorry, cause um. See, that's if why. I, if I shoot, if I shoot you a line, you fall for it, John. Ain't nobody fault but yours, and that you fail for it. But I'm that's just the gonna point. keep running my mouthpiece. I'm a man. I didn't fall so, for it. So, so in <laughs> your world, you can embezzle money because if if you shoot me a line about my money and I fall for it and give you money for an investment, and you're really just a thief. That's all. That's all my bad. <laughs> that's your fault. You really? Know, that's it's the life. Point. It's life. It, it's, it's life. It's part of life. Really? Some, yeah. some people, selfish, some people gonna get did over some man. You know, it's like. If I look at a female, I'm gonna make you think you look better than some celebrity or supermodel. You uh -huh. know, if you fall for them little lies, I'm telling you, oh my bad. Y'all yeah, might take you out to dinner, mm -hmm. or I might buy you a little outfit, but I don't count that for real. Because all, all in all, I love my wife. You know, I'm gonna try to do it all by making my man work. My loyalty you know. leads with her. You, you understand that? Okay. You, if you're gonna do whatever makes your marriage work, what do you think? Just, just make a guess what that might entail. To, to throw something it out to me that, that might done. help save your marriage. It's not even that's it, make some, some counseling. Because she need counseling. Can't you you tell, need counseling. Can't Come on, she look iffy. You, see, you see what I'm saying? Can't you tell she look iffy right now? No. You see, because... Um, that she's what? A little iffy. She kind of off the rocker a little bit. Uh-oh. You know? Okay. <laughs> I'm off you, the rocker. You understand? He she, don't even she know how to cheat, y'all. Every understand. time he cheat, he get caught. This a man word, you know? It's you know, a man word, I can't, word. I can't okay. help but some men don't know how to put their wives in play like I do, you know? Yo, in place? Uh, yeah. You need the one. You need to be the one putting in place. Putting his wife in play. I mean, Come on now. I'm not your child. I'm your wife. This a man word. The, the, female, the, female bag, the, the female bags the man up, you know. Uh-huh. The, the, the man said make calls all the shots. The female take care of the kids and do everything around Stop. the house, you know. Uh -huh. So I like basically your husband probably He's got... digging himself such a huge hole. You need to say nothing at all. Okay, I'm just okay. saying. Just letting him dig and dig and soon he'll hit China. Well, <laughs> that's what I'm shooting sure for. Yeah. I'm shooting sure for. Okay. When Divorce Court continues, does Damerson have an excuse? And we take a couple of pictures. Why did my husband now, remind you, this is my husband, put my new pictures on the internet. Breakups are painful. Let me help. Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222. Or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Martina Robinson, who wants to divorce her husband of two years because she says he has cheated with more than 30 women. But can Judge Lynn stop Damerson in his tracks? What are you gonna tell your daughter about men like you? Let me tell you how much respect this guy has for me, Yana. On Thanksgiving, we went to spend the holidays with our family, me and my kids, he didn't want to go. He wanted to stay at home by himself. He wanted to mope around. So I come back and we take a couple of pictures. Why did my husband now, remind you, this is my husband, put my new pictures on the internet in front of, so everybody could see. I'm thinking that I could take pictures with him because he's my husband. They're gonna stay in the privacy of the home. No, that's the, that's the day of God truth, Yana. You Why need to get high, but that's not gonna work with out. with a guy like, that you know you can't trust as far as you can see. I see it now, Yana. That's why I want out. Never I'm tired put of anything on film. He worse than a person in the street. I literally might as well be talking to somebody I don't know off the internet. He worse than them. I can't trust them at all. Is he a good daddy? He's a good daddy. What are you gonna tell your daughter about men like you? <laughs> run, <laughs> run, because that's what no, you should I'm, tell them. Basically, I'm going to just tell her, you know, learn how to recognize when someone telling you a lie, you know? Uh -huh. And when he, if, he, if, if, she, if she brings home a junior you, what will you tell her about him? Well, I mean, if he sold it to her and she bought it, I can't do too much to it because that's what she just takes. So, so you would mm -hmm. say, okay, baby, you know, do I'm going to let him screw you over. I'm going to let him treat you like nothing. I'm going to let him take your money, take your time, what? abuse your love. I'm still talking. Abuse your love, sleep around, give you a, a sexually transmitted disease because he's, he's everywhere. You're going to allow that. Right. That's going to be okay with you. That's who you are. No, because basically I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let, you know, see, this the problem. Nobody said that when the women, when women manipulate men, it's nothing wrong with it. But see now, when a man start manipulating a woman, you got a problem with it. Do you call That's what you're doing you do manipulation? No, 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 no. Let me, let me ask you. Okay. How are you manipulating it? Manipulation requires when you don't get caught. some subtlety. It's when you don't it get caught. It requires getting people to do things you don't, they don't think they want to do without any, oh. you know, it's not obvious. It's, it, 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 inquires exactly. some, it, it requires some intellect. I, I don't see that coming what, from what, over there. It, you don't see no intellect coming from me? 
the <laughs> way you manage women, I don't see it as um, intellectually well, it's, inspired. Well, everything I do is a, it's a thought through process. I'm gonna play mind obviously game. Obviously not, because you always get caught. Sweet. No, I, don't obviously get, I, think I get caught because I want to. It just you, adds, you, you it adds caught to it. Want I to. That's I stupid. That's I stupid. Robinson, you. you say he's addicted to porn and sex. Uh, yeah, he is. I mean, it. I mean, anything we say at this 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 juncture is 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 an asterisk to idiocy. But um, <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I mean, he, go ahead. I mean, like he he's addicted. To, that's when he cheats, that's what he do. He'll sleep with anybody. He don't care how you look. You can look. You could be four hundred pounds. You could be. He don't Big have a fight, y'all. He'll talk Big and women sleep need too, with y'all. anybody. He'll sleep with anybody, y'all. I've done all I can do. I mean, I, as you can see, he's no hope. There's no hope with uh -huh. him. I even on what his... made you think there was hope at any time? Did you? <laughs> did, I mean, I just can't You're understand right, that. Part. You're right. You're right. Well, I mean, is he I like selling me harder on? what he does than he really is. I mean, he had to have been better than this, right? I mean, when I first met him, he was. Like, he did the sweet talk. He was being nice to my, my oldest son before we had kids. He was, but that just lets you know that people put on the front before you get into a relationship. Well, you say he's addicted to t porn and sex, but then you also say that when you try to become intimate and sexy, you are rejected. Explain exactly. that to Exactly. I me. got an example for you, Your Honor. I, on his birthday of last year, I bought a lingerie outfit and a little game because I know he likes porn and sex, so I'm trying to please my husband. Right. Why did he who, tell who, me who that the up? lingerie outfit? Hold on, hold on. Don't be snapping your fingers and I told you one Sit time. Down. Like, really? <laughs> See, like the puppy. Go ahead. Anyway, Your Honor, um, yeah, I bought lingerie and he told me that that was a Valentine's Day gift. He told me that that was a gift to me, not him. Like, he didn't even want it. It's like he don't even appreciate my body. To be honest with you, I look better than him. He the one look like he weighed about 400 pounds, to be seriously, but he didn't even appreciate my gift. I spent time and effort. When Divorce Court continues, can Judge Lynn save this marriage as Damerson has asked? You didn't know your marriage was in trouble until one of my people called you and said that your wife called. I don't think my marriage is in trouble. Matter of fact, saying, I know well, my marriage ain't in trouble. Why do you think you're trouble. here? If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Martina Robinson, who charges that her husband is addicted to porn. But is this interest bad enough to send their marriage spiraling into divorce? Mr. Hutchinson, you think like you act like you got some sense if you've come up here? Do you think so? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you not find her alluring? I do, Your Honor, but it's, she knows. She's been with me for, since 2006. Right. You know, my birthday, I want materialist stuff. I want some cologne, I want an outfit or well, something body. like that. I don't... You want things, yeah, not, I mean, not, I can, not I can you. Have, I can have your body 365 days out the year. If yeah, I wanted to, because you my it's wife. So why, why would I want a, something like that on my birthday? You want to you want to remain married. Is that right? Yes. I mean, you you don't want to get a divorce. Yes. I'm, well, even if she she wants to, I just, <laughs> I just take a horse carriage riding downtown or something. She, and and she'll she be spent, back right with you. back right rich. You know how she's going to be right for that. Mrs. Robinson, if of all the things Mr. Hutchinson said today, the one that I do believe is that one. He's nothing without me, y'all. Right, he don't have but, nothing. But I, I gave some, I gave some alligator teal and did a little big with some little slow music playing in the background and whoop whoop. There she no, goes. She back on the team. No, no, Ms. No. Robinson, on, listen now. to me. If you don't hear anything else yes, I say today, I see women that come in here all the time hurt. Stop talking. I got you. Hurt. Crying, upset, have ever tragedy, <laughs> rudeness, horror, anything. I mean, they've been treated like last Thursday's trash. And then a week later, we call them up. Yeah, I let him back in. No. <laughs> I no, mean, that's no. not the point. I need him to leave. I need a divorce. Like, he can't, I can't just make him leave out my house. It's either me move or. It, they, I mean, I can't make So you just leave. want the house. It's a matter of, of legal logistics no, for you. No, it ain't even that. I want him to leave. I don't want to have to move me and my kids around again and take them out of school. I want him to leave. Mm -hmm. I get you. I get you. I get you. Mr. Hutchinson, my, my people told me this, and I didn't believe it, so I'm going to ask you. Okay. You didn't know your marriage was in trouble until one of my people oh, called no, you and my said marriage that ain't your no wife one called. I don't think my marriage is in trouble. Matter of fact, saying, I well, know my marriage ain't in trouble. Why do you think you're trouble. here? 
she just she just going through a phase. Like I said, when I spend a, spend a few dollars or something, she's just, phase, not phase. Going she's just going through a phase. And right she'll now. come right around. <laughs> Everything no. gonna be good after Valentine's Day. <laughs> If that was the case, come on, I'll be realistic. Come you on, know, man. it ain't no fake. I want you gone. I told you one time, no, I'm through with it. I'm through I understand you call yourself King Hut. Yes, exactly. Explain, explain that nomenclature for me. Because that's what I am. I'm a king. I was born but a king. But why More like a peasant. I know King Tut, but what is King Hut? Look, I feel like this him. I was put on the earth to satisfy people and women. <laughs> no matter what woman it is, if I get in contact with her and get you in a conversation and get you to laugh and whatnot, I'm gonna get what I want out you eventually. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You see, you, you, got, you got people saying, no, nah, no, nah, this and that and the third, but it's a thousand way to pimp. When divorce court continues. He took her out to eat, bought her a dress. Do you deny that these charges went for a woman other than your wife? Divorce court returns with the case of Martina Robinson and Damerson Hutchinson who are divorcing each other after only two years of marriage. Can I tell you what this baller did? Please. The last thing, the last straw for me was when we were going through hard times at my house or whatever. He went home to see his parents. He was depressed, so I let him go home to see his parents, Your Honor. And he went down there. Mind you that he didn't buy me nothing for my birthday, but he went to see another female, Your Honor. This is two hours from where we live in now. He drove two hours to see another female. Didn't even see his dad, Your Honor. Bought her a dress. I mean, he bought her a birthday dress, took her out to eat a spot time with her, not even counting the gas that it took to go down there, Your Honor. Well, I, I, okay. And at the same time, that's money that he took out of our mouth. Like, we're struggling. We. Why don't you tell me what, what that $117 represents? Okay, Your Honor. He spent $27 on her dress. Uh -huh. He spent $60. How do you know okay. these things? I got the base paper here. Okay, well, let, no, 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 no. You stay right here. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna bring the thing. Y'all stay over there. Okay. And then, I stay and over then, here. And then you see what I mean? She and Joe she, will travel. You see how she rambled through my mail and stuff now? See, I didn't even he, know that was in the mail until she threw it in my face. Hang on, stop. Have you seen this? Yeah, I've seen okay. it. If you don't stop. Okay, I guess. Do you deny that these charges went for a woman other than your wife? No, I don't, I don't You deny don't it. deny it. Don't you, deny you own it. it. You, you, because that's who you are. It's what you do. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's what dad right. do. That's what huh? dad do. That's what who do? That's what dad do. Ask him what he told me. No, about. I'm not asking anybody anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you a few things, and then, I, okay, and right. then I'm going to go. Okay. Can I say one thing? No, 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 Don't, don't no, pause no, in her no, head no, too no, much no. now. Don't pause in her no, head no, too no, much for me now. Joe, if you just stand over there and keep him company, because I don't want him to speak anymore. I have nothing to say to him. Be honest with you. I have to listen to it all the time. I'm all done over there. You know, M Ms. Robinson? Yes, ma'am. To the extent you let him treat you like yesterday's garbage, which you are, have allowed him to do so far, you're teaching your daughter that this is all you can get from a man. Please, if you cannot leave for your own well-being, leave for hers. So I'm asking you, as a grown woman, a woman who is beautiful, a woman who has two Thank children, you. a woman who is employed and got some sense about herself, you step away from whatever seven-cent line he's trying to sell you and keep stepping because he has no motivation to do better. He doesn't have the capacity to do better because he doesn't even have the esteem to be a man, right. and only a man can be married. Yes, ma'am. Yes, right? Ma you're right, you're right. Having said, said that, I will say this. I wish you all the best, Ms. Robinson. If you do not, if you get confused, soft, or tired, we're going to give you a copy of this tape. We, go, we play it every morning and, and, and get some. Since boom, ba, ra, 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 he got to go, okay? Right. Okay. And in addition to that, when you do leave, you will take $117. Thank with you, Your Honor. It's so order. All rise. Parties may leave the court. Damerson says that he and Martina are trying to work on their relationship because they have three young children at stake. Martina responds that Damerson talks about changing, but she hasn't seen any signs of that yet. Damerson says Martina continues to talk about leaving him, and he claims he is trying to quit cheating and social networking. But Martina doesn't believe him. 